Hi folks, co-tutor here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, we have seen how a job scheduler works. What we basically did in the previous video was we started a job scheduler which was continuously running in the background and as it was continuously running in the background it was basically logging a random number and this kept on continuously running of course this service would stop if the Wi-Fi was cut because that is how we had configured our job scheduler service to be and then once again it would get restarted when the Wi-Fi is switched on but what we want to do is something more subtle than that. We want the job scheduler to stop itself if it has completed its work only to be rescheduled and restarted after some point in time. This also only if the Wi-Fi is on. So let's see how this can be done. If you look at the code, it pretty much remains same. In the main activity where we are starting the job service, the way we configure it and the way we pass it to a job scheduler, everything remains the same. Here, nothing changes. But if you go to the service class, that is the class which extends job service, we have done some modifications. So if you come down here, the main change is happening in the start random number generator. If you try to compare this code with the old code, it would be much better. The old code is already there on a, another branch. So let me put this side by side and explain it to you in a much better manner. So this is the old code and this is the new code. The main difference that you will observe is here I have introduced a counter of 5. So basically what happens is in the new code after logging the random number 5 times it basically calls job finished. This is something that we had not done here in the old code. So after logging the random number five times, you are basically stopping the service, but you are stopping it with the parameter and the another parameter that you pass is a Boolean variable indicating do you want this service to be rescheduled or not. So in this case, you are saying, yes, I want it to be rescheduled. And that means after this job is finished, it will once again start after some point in time. And what is that point that basically is configured here when you set the period. So this particular service will keep on running again and again. So to understand how this is significantly different from what we had done earlier, let's run this and see what happens. Let me click on the run and open the logcat and let me click on the schedule job and you will see that the random numbers are getting logged and after that the job stopped because this particular line got executed but you will observe that after some time once again you will start seeing the random numbers getting logged so this is the major difference between what we are doing in this video and what we did in the previous video. In the previous video, it was continuously running. But in this case, we are basically stopping the job after assuming that we completed some part. And then once again, we are starting it. You can now see that once again, you are seeing another set of random numbers getting logged. This is uh, another feature that you can do with the job service. And for that, your service need not be always on the screen. It can be running in the background as well. Not only that, let's assume that I start the job service and in between it gets stopped because I removed the Wi-Fi connectivity. And the way I had written the code, if Wi-Fi connectivity is gone or any network connectivity is gone, the job should stop or at least the service should not continue. So that is why you saw that automatically the job got stopped. And then later when I once again make the network connectivity available, you will see that the job continues to execute and it will continue to execute in the same fashion. That is, it will stop itself because of this particular line and after some point in time, you will once again see that it will once again restart. So we will have to just wait for some time to see the logs but one thing is assured that you will see the logs because I have tested it enough number of times and I can tell you with authority that you will see the logs again yeah you can see that it is happening and you can even kill the 
application and once again you will still see these logs only the problem is you never know when they get restarted you will have to wait for some time to actually see this was one of the main reason why it got so much delayed to make this particular video because i basically wanted to capture this when it captured my recording used to get screwed up but i can pretty much assure you that it happens so you can test this download this particular code run on your machine and see how this behaves and i am pretty sure that you will see that your job service will run so with this we are done with the job service discussion in the next video we will start the discussion on foreground services that is also another very very important aspect of working with services so see you in the next video that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye